Hello, I'm Chantal Cecile Cura. I'm the founder of AutismCollege.com, and I'm also the author of numerous books on autism. Today I'm here to give you an autism parenting tip. It's very important that your child learn to wait. It's a life skill. Does your child roll on the floor and cry every time you deny him something? Does your child not understand the concept of waiting before he runs out the door? When you're at the grocery store, does he have a hard time waiting in line? He needs to learn how to wait. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to uh, make an icon like this that says wait or waiting or please wait and that has a clock in it for the notion of time. Well, all you need else is a timer. You can use a timer on your phone, you can have a cute pig timer, whatever works for you. Then you take this icon and you put it on the fridge. Notice mine has little pieces of Velcro on it. Then you have an icon that represents whatever food item your child really likes that he asks for frequently. And the next time your child asks for it, for example, Jeremy was really into muffins when I was trying to teach him this skill. So he would come and he would say, muffin please. And I would have a picture of the icon and I would put the muffin out of reach where Jeremy couldn't grab it. And I would say, we're waiting for the muffin, waiting for muffin. And then you, I would set the timer. For Jeremy, he could easily wait about a minute and a half before getting antsy. Some kids, it's 15 seconds. So you set your timer for whatever amount of time that he can wait the first time. And then as soon as the timer rings, you say, good, waiting, you waited for the muffin. And you give him what it was he was waiting for. So you do this, and you keep adding time to it, so that eventually he ups the amount of time, or she ups the amount of time that she can wait. It's easy. Well, I mean, it's not that easy, but it's easier than seeing your kid throw temper tantrums. And when your kid gets older, he's not going to be able to do those temper tantrums anymore. So you need to do this sooner than later. So I hope you enjoyed this autism parenting tip. And if you did, please go to autismcollege.com.